Hassan and Naila, and we are that clay couple. We guide you to have a genius relationship with yourself so that you can master all of the other relationships that matter to you the most. That's what's up. And today, this relationship talk is for our married folks. Mm -hmm. So where are our married people in the Couples. love? Couples. In the love thing, village. Yeah. What's your call? Here's some thumbs up. Oh. Hello, Brian. Hi, Sofu. Salam alaikum. All right, say it. so the stats say that two out of four couples. Two out of four. Divorce. Mm -hmm. Now, out of the two out of four, when are you going to hang tight? And then you're going to have those people. Cause, you're going to be miserable. Still together, but you're going to be miserable. Right. We just decide, you know, we're going to. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. I, I don't I'm like staying. you. I don't want to be with you. I'm going to stay here, though. But I'm going to stay here. You know, better the devil you know than the devil you don't. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be. But either way, you with the devil. You with the devil. <laughs> and that's what they're choosing. But, right. I sound like I'm doing it, Kaya. All right, so many of us marry someone hoping that they're not going to trigger us. Mm -hmm. I don't want to marry anybody who's going to piss me off, mm -hmm. keep me mad all the time, mm -hmm. or who's just really going to get on my nerves. Mm -hmm. But we do something the very opposite okay. of, of that. Mm -hmm. Because <clears throat> what many of us um, do is that, you know, we want to... You want to get married, and you want to be get to have a marriage that's better than what you've seen, mm -hmm. better than or better than the one that you did before, right? Mm -hmm. And so, but we forget something that this person doesn't know what you saw growing up, right? That they don't know your relationship right. history. They, they don't have your experiences at all. They don't know how your parents were, how mm -hmm. they did marriage, how you saw marriage. Mm -hmm. Um, your they, your friends and your family, the friends of the family, you know those uncles and aunties that really weren't your uncles and aunties. Right, and so and for many of us, that's a good thing. And then there were those of us who think that this is true, that mm -hmm. you think just like I think, mm -hmm. like the couple we talked to earlier today, who were they having some serious issues. Right, and they believe, but we've known each other for so long. We, we went to went, school together. We went to high school together. Who cares if you were in Miss Miller's math class? Okay. Well, I was in Mr. Jones' science class. Right. And we knew each other since the 11th grade. That has nothing to do with who you're going to be. Well, well maybe Miss Miller class. I might have cheated off your notes. You know? Come on, Hostie. <laughs> that has nothing to do with who you're going to be at age 25 <laughs> mm -hmm. or age age 35. Exactly. And so we marry as if that these things are going to increase compatibility mm -hmm. somehow. Or that you're going to be on a marriage come up with mm -hmm. me. You're going to be like me, and you're going to want the same things that we, I want. I, I, we got the same interests, and we're going to do this thing together. And, <laughs> you know, and I say, together. together. And <laughs> okay. And then you get married, and it doesn't happen. Yeah, it doesn't happen. And you get mad. Mm -hmm. because. Pissed. Because what you don't know is that we all say, okay, we're gonna we're gonna balance each other out, and mm -hmm. I married my best friend, right. and then you find out that your best friend pisses you off right. sometimes, right. or then that you find you find out that you pick the ideal person, the mm -hmm. ideal person to right. accentuate your flaws, the stuff that you were trying to hide from, <laughs> <laughs> that that you that you just don't want to connect with. Right. You mm -hmm. pick the ideal person to help you get to a level up. You pick the ideal person to help you deal with the stuff that you've been ignoring. Right. You pick the ideal person to help you learn some things that you need to learn. Mm -hmm. How is it that you're going to create balance and stability and build this love, marriage, friendship mm -hmm. without going through, without going through some things? Stuff? Exactly. You think that you're going to get married and it's going to be like that. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And again, you get mad. I don't know how it is that we believe that this whole, this dream life of what marriage is going to be, that the dream is just literally going to be a dream. Right. Babe. Everyone you can't be every, the every, every, Everybody it, can't be the head. That's, my, that's me. <laughs> hey, get that in your head. That's me. <laughs> yeah. Chill. Slow. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> but let's bring it back okay. to real life. What's up, IG? What's up? That's me. 
<laughs> because that's really not what it's going to be like. And if you are going to create your ideal relationship, and if you are going to create your ideal friendship with your, your husband or your wife, you're going to have to go through some There's stuff. There's going to be some growing pains in this. Right. And, you know, everyone, yes, exactly. Uh, Mikael said Disneyland. And it doesn't <laughs> mean, you know, how people say, I don't, why we got to be on the struggle? Right. You know, the, and we, the struggle is real. Why, why, I can struggle by myself. You know what? Well, if that's the case, then grow up by yourself. yourself. Right. Because you are not going to develop that type of sustainability. Right. Without with, a struggle. Without the two of you going through and guiding and going the wrong way and getting some dead ends mm -hmm. and somebody, call, hey, hey checking you on your stuff mm -hmm. and you checking them on their stuff and you mm -hmm. getting triggered and you one day realize that I married my father and he realizes mm -hmm. she's she just like, like my, my father. Mm -hmm. This is going to happen. It happens to many of us and we mm -hmm. get upset. We get upset about it. So what do you do? Because when you get to this point where the, at least the first time, because this happens to couples. Right. Um, because you don't learn from the previous experience, you repeat, you rinse and repeat. You just do the same thing over again. Okay, so what's the first thing that you, you can do? Because it's an issue. We have we have an issue. I am triggered. I am pissed. I am I am having a hard time right. getting I just got through. Frustrated. I'm this, frustrated. Now. Right, getting through this phase of my life. Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time with this whatever this adult development the, thing right. is. You're going and you, through, and you come going through some mad some mad anxieties right now because you're trying to figure out why why me. Right. So the first thing is, is that, you know, you do have a right and you should let the other person know what your issue is, but do mm -hmm. it with compassion. Mm -hmm. Complain with compassion. Uh, well, you know what? Go ahead, baby, because I don't, I don't, I'm. You got some. You, you sound yeah. like you're about to go in. Yeah. Because ahead. your complaint really is a bucket list. Mm -hmm. it's, it's your bucket list of how you really would like for things to be. You and know, you should get that. And, but you know what? Damn the complaint. All right, damn the complaint. You know, just give that person your bucket list. You know, that complaint, because if you complain, you start complaining, I don't hear everything else that comes behind that, and that's going to be the most important things that I need to hear, what it is that you need from me versus all this complaining, complaining, complaining. People complain too damn much. You know, stop all the complaining. Learn how to speak and talk to someone and to let that person know what your needs are versus well, you always do this, you always do that. The first thing, well, I'm not your, I'm not your enemy. Quit all that. You know, quit quit coming at me with, well, I'm transferring. Go, go ahead, go ahead. I'm transferring. Go ahead. Yeah, quit coming to, coming to a let that person know that this is the thing. The Because your complaining is not going to get you a whole lot. It ain't going to get you Y'all are already in a bad situation mm -hmm. because you've gotten into the reality of what marriage really is. Sometimes right. marriage sucks, y'all. Right. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful institution created by God, right. and there is so much benefit and joy in it, but you know what? At the end of the day, I'm responsible for somebody else, and they are responsible for me, and sometimes I don't want that. <laughs> sometimes you don't want to. Sometimes I don't want that. So, sometimes I don't. Want, I, I don't. And that has to. That makes me a better person because, in spite of me not wanting to be a particular way, I still have to do it, and I have to do it with some sort of joy because this person at the end of the day makes me happy. Or at least you said you wanted them to to to, to make bring bring you happiness, happiness to your life. Exactly. The other thing to do is to be extra, be on team too much mm -hmm. when it comes to your compliments. Right. Because there are times when you're going to come up short. Mm -hmm. There are going to be times where everybody is raggedy, especially right. when you are triggered. Right. Especially, especially when, when you pissed. <laughs> Especially when you don't get mad about something it's, or upset. Or when your marriage is in a place where it is really trying to get you on that level right, up. Right. Everybody's talking about level up, level up, level up. 
and get yourself on your glow up or when your marriage is about to get you there and you struggling with it and it doesn't feel good and somebody is saying you know what you squirming i see you mm -hmm. i got you and i'm that's, pushing you through so that's the word level up level up okay and you have to level up yeah but okay. it doesn't feel good mm -mm. No, it's you know a, that it, means you have to build something to love. Right. It means right. you're gonna be under some pressure. Right. And so this is what be extra with your compliments. Be extra with your gratitude. Right. You know, and it may feel awkward. It may feel fake. You know, and, it may feel <laughs> and like I do it for Hassan all the time, man. He he'll tell he'll tell me fake it. I right. love it. I love it. Man. You know, I I clap. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I look. bow, I bow. Oh, look at this mm. muscle. Mm. Ooh, look at this. Yeah. Oh. yeah, look at that. Ooh, you're so strong. Yeah, yeah. And he loves it. Y'all, you know I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> but she took the time out to do that for me. All right? I love it. Thank you for thinking about me. And because the other thing is, is that women very often, they'll say, you know, when they when they don't feel appreciated or when they're not getting a compliment or when they, oh, he took me for granted. That's why I had to leave the marriage. Women say it, but, but men. But men will do it. Because I'm going to be honest with you. We, as a man and brothers, you know. Men, so, well, no, what, women say it, but men but do we're, what? We we'll leave. Men leave. That's we'll what leave. men do. We we'll leave. Women will talk we about how they feel. That. We don't want to hear that. And they'll talk about how they feel. If, you don't, if we feel like you're not appreciative, at some point, we're out. He gone, and he's not going to do you or give you a lot of conversation. And you're wondering why? Why mm -hmm. men don't do a lot of talking? Not, right? not every man is like that. So generally I don't wanna, speaking, but generally speaking, we're talking generally. Okay. And the last thing is, and this is something Hasa used to tell me all the time when we got married. Yeah, and I'm not your enemy. I'm not. When we have a different disagreement, and she coming at me like you know. Like I done, I done, I done struck up World War Three. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I'm not your enemy here. I'm on your side. And remember that you are having a disagreement with someone that you say that you love. Right, you and, care about. And so that even when you are upset and you're frustrated and you're feeling confused and mm -hmm. you're feeling anxious or even depressed about a situation right. to even still i can still be frustrated with you and do that from a position of love right you're in a relationship to love well love and because you picked this person exactly so love them you, love chose, them. Them. you chose them love them and him or her let me let me make that sure that that's right him or her you chose that person love them right and so when it gets to the point where you really see that yeah that i really am going to be tested mm -hmm. that, that this marriage is a place where i'm going to be tested we get tested with our kids we mm -hmm. get tested with our health right our wealth you know we get uh, at, at job on your job man atlanta traffic will test you <laughs> okay just getting to work <laughs> atlanta traffic will get you okay just getting there 285 all my 285 people what's happening <laughs> <laughs> and so, and, and the, the other thing is, I want us to be mindful, is that this relationship, your marriage, this is the only relationship, and I'm, going, I'm speaking from an, an Islamic perspective, perspective, this is the only relationship that we have that we know that is guaranteed into the hereafter. Mm -hmm. There is no promise that you're going to see your mother. That there's no promise that you're going to see your children. There's no promise that you're going to see your in, in, anyone, your grandparents, nothing. But God does tell us, Allah tells us that you will see your spouse in the hereafter. This is a relationship. When we say, oh, when they say this is forever, man, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is forever. This is a relationship that takes you to the next life. And so live it like that. Mm -hmm. I don't have any other relationship that other than the one that I have with my Lord that promises to take me to that type of, of level. level. Exactly. Now that's a level up. Exactly, right? Now, and then you, you don't want to take the time to get this right. To invest in it. That to, to be extra mm -hmm. with, my, with my compliments, to be sure that I complain with compassion, hmm. it's worth it. Definitely, definitely.
Okay, so y'all let us know what you think in the comments. Please share this. As always, you know, you can find us at www.thatclaycouple.com. Hey, and don't forget MTF Jersey 2018. Hashtag MTF Jersey. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, please do. That is for our retreat in Jersey the and, second and Wildwood, weekend. In Wildwood, New Jersey. The second weekend in November with right. the ma'am, Shadid Muhammad. Muhammad. Right. Okay. So couples are on that Saturday. That, that, actually, that Friday. Oh, couples on Saturday. Right. Yes. And the unmarried people are on Friday. Right. And Nadira Pierre, the social media, media satirist. Um, she will be satirist? with us. Satirist, satirist. That's oh, what she calls herself. Oh, man. <laughs> That's new. Uh, she will be with us on Saturday mm -hmm. evening. So, y'all tell your friends hashtag MTF Jersey. And y'all know we are hashtag that clay couple. All right. Salikum. <laughs>